Thankfully, no deaths or injuries locally from this storm, but the heavy rains we saw earlier led to road closures across the Piedmont Triad, and some are still closed at this hour. WXI 12's Kara Peters is in Greensboro, and Kara, how are things looking tonight? Well, Christine, things are a lot better than what we saw earlier today, and things have changed quickly. In fact, I'm standing here at South Elm Eugene Street, where earlier this portion of the road was blocked off, but now it is open. So, But still, Greensboro drivers do have to beware of slick roads and still possible detours. Now, we want to show you some new video that we got earlier today. Greensboro police blocking off the portion of South Elm Eugene Street and JJ Drive, where we're standing currently. It was Heavy downpours causing ponding on roads. Now drivers here had to take a detour through the Home Depot parking lot nearby to just to get to the other side of JJ Drive. And we also saw a similar situation not too far on Cornwallis Drive and Yanceyville Street. We also saw water pushing into backyards and Revolution Park. Now we did speak with the fire department earlier. They said while there were several cars stuck in water, crews did not have to rescue anyone because everyone was able to escape on their own. Now again, we we saw here at uh, South Elm and Eugene Street that it's open. Same with um, Yanceyville and Cornwallis that has all reopened. But still, Greensboro police remind you that you could still see some spots with signage and slick roads, so you still have to certainly take your time out here on these roads. For now, we are live in Greensboro. I'm Kara Peters for WXII 12 News.